Hi guys, welcome to Learn with W3 Schools. Today we're going to learn JSON and hack into it in under 20 minutes. We're going to cover all major topics of JSON from introduction to syntax to how JSON is different from XML, data types, parsing the JSON, stringifying the JSON into JavaScript, and then using Java JSON notations in form of arrays and how we receive the JSON from server, convert it into finally into a PHP form, and then how we use it inside HTML. So many to cover under 20 minutes. Let's begin. This is Dr. Zishan, and you still haven't subscribed. Subscribe. I will be posting more coding tutorials regularly every week literally so don't forget to subscribe and follow along let me know in comments what you think about this tutorial and how you want to learn more about it json stands for javascript object notations it's a lightweight data interchange format okay so the easy uh, the basic idea is that it's easy for humans to read and easy for machines to parse and um, generate the code as well it's used to primarily transfer data so the way it's written is that we use data is represented in form of key and value pairs Okay. So in form of JSON, every data has two things. One is called key and one is called value. Objects are enclosed in the curly brackets. Okay. All object values are inside the curly brackets, whereas arrays are represented inside the square brackets. So for example, this is an object notation of JSON in which we have a key and it's a value. And then we have a key and it's a value. We have a key and it's a value. So the key again is inverted quotations colon and then inverted quotations with the value if it's an integer number then don't need, no longer need for uh, inverted quotations but the key still is in inverted quotations the json versus xml how json is different from xml well json is a simpler and more lightweight than xml json uses fewer characters and is easier to read whereas xml uses tags while json uses key value pair so in this case example let's explore json so the way we write json is again we start with the bracket start bracket close we have an object called employee colon and then that employee has objects okay so this employee becomes an object of json and then inside the uh, value of employee we again have a curly brackets we give our name as a key colon and a value key and a value key and a value so now remember here this employee again becomes a key and its value is again another object within itself just so it's like an object with an object the same thing within xml is written as employee tag and then within it we have a name tag we have an age tag we have a city tag so we have tags within xml whereas in json we have what we call uh, simple key and value parameters want to learn more about xml check out the video in description let's talk about json data types data types in json are exactly same in every other language or primarily what we do in javascript as well however we don't need to specify the type of data it's implicitly defined so if i have a key called name inverted quotations colon then i specify the value in inverted quotations it becomes a string if I give it a simple number, it becomes an integer number format. If I get, have a key and its value is either false or true, it becomes a Boolean value. Or I can declare an object as well, again having a key, colon, instead of a value, we define a curly brackets again, and then we again use the same key and value parameter inside it, all separated by comma. So do note that in, Java, uh, in JSON, we have comma separated values. Similarly, we have arrays as well. We again declare array with a key. And then colon and the values this time are in square brackets that define the array and array is a collection of data so all there can be multiple data separated by comma okay then we have a something called null value as well similar to javascript we define a key and then currently we are now specifying any value to it it becomes a null value so these are some basic way of declaring or working with data types in javascript notation then in JavaScript object notation or JSON, we how we convert and how we work with this data is known as parsing the JSON object. So converting JSON string into a JavaScript object, we use the following structure. We use let, we create a variable called JSON string. So this becomes our JSON string. Uh, again, now note that we are using first inverted quotation marks because the elements of JSON are in double quotations. So the primary value becomes in a single quotation for uh, JavaScript notation. So we use, again, square uh, curly brackets. We use key and value. Then we use a key and a value. Then we use a key and a value, each separated by a comma. So commas is separated. And then we have a key and value parameter. So then how this becomes a sp standard JavaScript object uh, notation, OK, JSON. How we use this and parse it and convert it into what we call uh, J JavaScript value or JavaScript parsing, we simply use JSON capital dot parse. So JSON becomes an object implicitly defined in JavaScript. So we don't need to declare or use any header files. We use parse method and we pass it this string. It, okay, So this variable is passed to this thing. It will pass this entire JSON object and use it. Now it will be assigned to this object OBG. To use this OBG object, we simply use obg.name, then it will fetch out the name and print it. 
we use obg.h and it will fetch out the name and password. So this is as easiest and as simplest way to do. We have a JSON notation. We use JSON.parse to pass this notation into a JavaScript string form and assign to an object variable. This object variable now can easily access the keys and the values will be printed for it. So we will access the keys here and the values will be printed. Then we do something called JavaScript string, stringify. Stringify is basically converting JavaScript into a JSON. So in previous example, we used JSON to convert it into a JavaScript. Now we are using JavaScript to convert it into JSON. So for example, you have a JavaScript object. So we declare a JavaScript object, brackets start again, curly brackets, JavaScript objects have a key and pair value as well, but the keys are not in inverted quotations. Okay. So key are just the simple variable names, colon and a value. Key and a value but again the key is not in inverted quotations json values are in inverted quotations that's how we differentiate we are working with json or javascript object then since this is a javascript object to convert this into a json we use the json.stringify method so again we have json which is again a javascript object present in javascript library we use json jso and capital dot and we use a method called stringify what this will do is it will convert this javascript into a pure json object with all its key values also represented in a string form in a double inverted quotations that's it so that's all we need to do so to convert it into a json from javascript we use this json dot string of a method and the data will be converted there then we have something called json objects we can declare json objects as well to do that we use for example let person is equals to and then we create the json object similar to javascript if you're coming from there you can easily follow this along if you want to learn javascript the links are in the description i already have a detailed video on that so the person is becoming a object name is equals to this time and then we use curly brackets start and close so this would basically again this is a json notation assigned to a person as an object to use this now we simply use person dot first name this first name becomes the key so we are calling the key and its value will be printed then if I need to use the last name, I will say person dot last name and the last name will be printed. If I want to print its age, same person dot age and the age will be printed. So now this all behaves like a JSON object. This becomes a standard JSON. So at this point, this is a standard JSON. At this point, this is a standard JSON. It is not prefixed with any particular value. Okay. So to convert it into an object, we just simply create a variable JSON. So do remember JSON is a part of JavaScript. It works with JavaScript as well. So that's why it follows most of the JavaScript for conventions as well. Then JSON arrays, just like I mentioned previously, to create a JSON arrays, you need square brackets. For a standard object, we use curly brackets. If you use square brackets, now it behaves like an array. So we create a variable, we use a square brackets, okay and then we declare elements inside the square brackets elements are again very simple so we use name and parameter we use name and parameter but this time every element is in square curly brackets okay so every element is in a curly brackets when we declare an array each array has an element comma separated <coughs> this time the element individually is another object so technically this array contains three java json objects this contains object one object two object three so there are three different people details that can be there and there can you can add as many json values there and then all these threes are then again inside an array so it's like an array with a, which contains multiple json objects because we have a square brackets here and it will semicolon and each json after it ends with the curly brackets comma is there to identify this is a different element so if i want to traverse it i would use people square brackets one name this basically means that go inside the people array square brackets index number so this is on zero index this is on index number one so it's going to read this index and then i'm going to say on this index find out the name so we use the dot name parameter so this will access this data if i want to access the third element i will use people go inside the people find and on the third index find out the name so on the third index or second index sorry on the second index this element is here array index always start from zero so zero one two is there then how do we process the JSON on server? To process the data, JSON is often used to exchange data between client and server. That's the primary reason. It allows us to transfer the data much quickly and easily. That's why we use JSON. To send, to send the data on the server, we use it in a JSON form. To read it from the server, we use again the JSON form. The server sends the data in both of the formats from the client. How do we do that? So this example is a, of receiving JSON data from a server in the real application. You would fetch this data so this is exactly how you would do it in the real application so we declare a variable 
again just for a demonstration purpose but this is the data that's actually received by the server so this server data again is encapsulated in a single quotation indicating this is whole as a string because data will send the data as a string and that string will actually contain an object notation so that string is actually defined here and then inside the string you will have a curly brackets and then the curly brackets will have an object called employees colon and array is indicator is there inside the array we have name one and name two on zero index on one index now to convert this json string into a standard javascript we again use the json.parse method we discussed earlier so this complete string will first be converted into javascript object to do that we use json parse and then we give it this array where reference variable here okay so this reference variable will convert this string into a javascript object and assign it to employees now i can say hey go inside the employees this first employee refers to the javascript employees inside this employees there's an employee array that is representing the json object on zero index we have a name so on a zero index of this square bracket array we have the first object of json and read the name for it so this all will output the john out from here okay so we are saying hey this is json this is javascript so if i change it to js it making more sense so this becomes js javascript employee and then we have this json employee so i can say json employee and this will become now my json employee okay making more sense so if we first use the javascript variable using this javascript variable we are accessing the json variable inside the json variable we are saying go to the zero index to process it now because this is an array we can use all javascript methods to traverse through all those elements javascript for in loop or for loop or each for while loop you can use all javascript methods to process this array and use loops to traverse through elements and find out what data is so if you use this on zero index and we knew that we have name as a key value so we use that name to print the data as simple as that and if you are moving and using php for that purpose so php has built-in functions to encode and decode json as well since json is used extensively for server applications and php is primary language to do that it already has some of its own custom methods so to convert a php array to json we use so now we are converting php to json to do that we have a php variable called dollar person again as we know php uses dollar sign to declare variables is equals to we define an array again php code bracket star bracket close inside this we declare name key and its value now because we are using php we are using equal to the sign this sign is defining instead of colon so instead of colon this defines that hey a name is there and it belongs this value then we have a key value called age it belongs a value 40 then we have a value called channel it belongs to learn with w3 schools okay now to pass through or to read this data we use echo statement in the php we use the echo statement we use json encode because this is the default method that will encode this php array into a json form we use this json encode method and then we pass it this array variable reference here so this will create a complete json notation for us as simple as that so once if we have a data in form of json array we can simply use json encode to convert our data into a php or uh, in a json format once we have now we can send this data json person onto our uh, server we send the data through a server we save it into a variable and we can pass it similarly vice versa once you receive the data in a json form and you need to convert it into a php object to process it to read it through php we use json string so for example we have a json string and this is again the same string that we will receive from the server we will receive the server in form of a single in string form which is using single quotations then bracket star bracket close then we have a name and parameter key and parameter key and value key and value formats so we say oh okay i have this data wonderful perfect okay because we have a key and its value comma key and a value i want to convert this json into a standard what we call php object so we do again json decode method pass this variable to this decode method this json decode will now decode this json into a standard php object to convert php to json we use json encode to convert json into php we use json decode method once you do that now it will return us the json uh, php object which we can assign it to a php variable since this variable now becomes a standard php object we can use any methods to print it in this case we are saying hey go inside the parcel hyphen uh, greater than sign and print the name so it's going to print the name from this variable okay this is how we basically very simply process json to php or json to server whichever option you want to 
know about. Then we have something called JSON into HTML form. How do we use JSON in a standard HTML? To do that, we create an HTML page. We define a body. We have a H2 heading called JSON example. We create an API paragraph with an ID demo. Okay, so this becomes a standard HTML. Then we use the script tag. Obviously, JSON works with uh, JavaScript, so we need the script tag. So we say let text, and now again, we are receiving the same data from the server. So once we have the same data from the server that contains, again, inside the single quotations, we are using single quotations here because the, the data from the server will come with double quotation marks. To convert it into a proper string form, we have to use the single quotations, just like in previous examples. So single quotations, bracket start, JSON object started, then again, uh, double quotation marks, employing the key value. So this is our key colon. The value is again in the array form. That array again contains JSON objects inside it. So this is on a zero index. This object is on a one index. So the zero index contains key and a value, key and a value. To process this data, we use again JSON.parse. So we are actually using same JavaScript. We are saying, hey, this is a JavaScript notation. Pass this into a standard JavaScript object. So this JSON parse will convert this uh, JSON return from the server into a JavaScript object. Then we can just simply use whatever we want to do within our JavaScript. So in this case, we are saying, hey, go inside my document, which is the HTML document, get an element by ID, find an element that has an ID called demo. So there's an element called demo. You find that ID, dot inner HTML, change its inner HTML content equals to means you want i want to change so this allows us to access this php uh, this html data and then we say object which is javascript object variable we just created dot employees so go on to this employees on its first index one index find the first name <clears throat> now what is the first name first name is going to be this one anna why this one again because we are using one one means on one index always remember array index or uh, the index number of json objects it generally starts from the zero. So this will be on the zero index. This will be on my first index. Okay. So on first index, we are saying find the first name plus concatenate with a space, add a space to it plus concatenate with the last name. So the first and last name Peter and the last name is in this case, uh, Jones will be printed on our system. Wonderful. Perfect. So this is how basically we use uh, our JSON object value to pass our data. I hope you understand this and this was a very quick and short tutorial of JSON. You want to learn more in full depth of JSON, let me know in the comments and I will make a whole detailed lecture of how we work with it various, with various different examples. And if you want to learn more about JavaScript, PHP, JSON, AJAX, I'm making these videos regularly every week I'm posting literally. So don't forget to subscribe and follow. Let me know what you want to learn. Leave your comment. This is Dr. Dushan signing off.